Come on, man. I'm so hot. You dying? I'm dying, I gotta get in the water. <laughs> Downfall of wearing wetsuits in the summer. It's so hot. Oh yeah. What's going on guys? Adam Brown Adventures here, out on another river treasure diving, scuba diving adventure hunt, out with my buddy, exploring with Nug. Ha, ha. We are out at this new location. It's not a new river we've been to before, but it's a new bridge that we haven't done before. So hopefully we can go out here, clean up some trash, find some cool treasures and uh, legend stop sweating. Legend has it that scuba divers came here a long time ago, thousands of years ago, and they found, they found a wooden grenade that the Aztecs carved. Oh yeah? Yep. A didn't wooden grenade. Off. It was a wooden one. <laughs> Luckily it didn't go off or we might've got a splinter. <laughs> So we got all our gear on, we're getting it ready. We're about to go over there and jump in the water soon. I got my gloves, my fins, my mask. Here's my collection treasure bag. We're gonna fill this up and it should be pretty fun. Let's get in that water and find some treasure. Oh yeah. All right guys, we just got in the water. Got Nug right here. We're about to go diving underneath this bridge and hopefully find some cool stuff. So let's get in that water. Oh yeah. Thanks for joining me on another scuba diving adventure. This is a brand new spot I hadn't been to before and I didn't know what to expect. So I dove around and as always we found some trash. Although I will say this river was actually cleaner than most that I swim in. But here I found like an old wrench, some old tools that probably fell off a truck. This is, I believe, part of some fishing tackle that I found, so that was kind of cool. Always find random pieces of metal too. So it's really hard to identify them, but probably a piece of the old bridge. Oh, pipe. Not a lot of stuff out here too far yet. And so I kept looking around and I have found a sock in the water. That was kind of funny. And check this out. This is a giant tire. I don't know what this came off of. Maybe a tractor. I know me and Nug want to go back and get that out one day, but that thing is massive. And I found a little fishing lure. Now I'm not exactly sure what this is. I think it's like a hammock. If you guys know, let me know in the comments. Definitely looks very weird. What the heck is that? And I cleaned up a can here. Always good to get trash out of the water. We definitely don't want that. The current was a little strong here, so I was kind of struggling to get back up river, but it was still a beautiful spot to dive. Despite there being a sewage plant right up river. <laughs> and I found two more tires here and some other random metal pieces. And I love finding lighters under the water. For some reason, they never work, though. <laughs> no! Oh! Oh, that was crazy! Crazy, I can't believe you found that. <laughs> Always finding them guns, man. That's crazy. I didn't I haven't found much of anything yet. Yeah, I was hoping it's trash I got here. It's pretty clean. All these pipes with shit coming out of it. Oh dude, I swam in front of one on accident and it hit me in the face. I was like, oh I was like, oh god. <laughs> I don't know, I think that tire's too far. 
think that tire is way too far away. Once you get that winch, we need to come back. So me and Jeremy were kind of making a game plan, trying to figure out how to get that tire out. One day we're going to come back and get that thing. That would be really cool to get that out of the water. And this is a really cool fishing lure that I found. It was really pretty. A lot of times I can't get them because they have hooks and I don't have the right carrying case, but this is the one I really liked. But I try to get them when I can. So this part of the river I was on the close side to the parking area, which more people tube over. So I was starting to find more trash on this side, closer to the bank. And I found a, a nice little tape measure for measuring your fish. And I got me a battery. And you know I always find me a phone. That was really cool. This one was really old. And I don't think it's going to work anymore. But it's really cool to find that. So like I was saying, there's just a lot of trash on this side. So I was cleaning that up. Got some old bottles, some old cans. And I got another phone. This one was about as old and bad condition as the other one I just found, though. That's pretty cool. So that's really cool. I love finding cell phones, even if they're they're in terrible condition. And I found this cool key. I love finding keys in the river. And I found this old belt too. That was cool. This was a pair of scissors that actually kind of broke apart when I pulled them out. Uh, I didn't do much. I found a couple of phones, old, old cell phones, but that's about it. This is the first time I've been to this spot. It's because the water treatment plant kind of freaks me out. There's like, there's four big pipes right down the bottom and it's pumping out. Like brown it's, stuff it's just nasty. coming out. You just know that's doo-doo. <laughs> And it's really warm. I was like, oh gosh, I just want to get away from it. So that probably got equalized. Alright guys, we just got out of the water and it was a pretty fun dive today. It was a brand new spot we've never been to, so you never even know what you're going to find. I think Jeremy found the best thing of the day over there, so we'll get to him later, you know. Yeah. But we'll go over my finds really quick. I got some trash, some old bottles, um, with this belt, some railroad spikes. I found the key to Jeremy's heart. <laughs> I found a lighter. Old no. tools, but I think my best finds are this cool lure here and a couple cell phones. You know, I'm always finding these cell phones. It's pretty cool. Yeah, we got some uh, some trash, some old, some old cell phones. Cell phones. Cell phones. <laughs> yeah. Any good stuff? Mostly trash today, but that's good to clean up the river. It is. Good yeah, this section is actually pretty clean. It's like, pretty good. Yeah, thank there. you for that. Surprisingly yeah. clean out here. I, I leave no trash. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot more fish, fishing stuff, fishing tackles, stuff like that, but we got some bottles, some old tools. Man, so I didn't find uh, no fancy smenshy gun or anything, but um, I hear you might have found Maybe. something kind of cool. It was the only thing that I found today <laughs> that was worth it. That bag is full, but there is nothing in there but cans. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, I take it back. I found two golf balls. Two golf balls? Me, I didn't so, even find a golf ball today. I'm happy with my golf balls. <laughs> but what I found... I heard a rumor that you found a, a little pew-pew. A little, a little, what are they, a bang stick. So, boom! Man! We got ourselves a Smith & Wesson 9mm. And this one even has, I believe people like to call it the magazine, not the clip. Mag that's right. Magazine. Yeah. I said that wrong. What's funny is I found this like <laughs> at a different spot in the river and it's the same, it's, it goes to this gun. That's awesome. And another cool thing about this gun is it's not seized. So we have cleared it. There is, there is no bullet in it. This is a safe gun. So technically we can do what we want with it now without it going off and shooting somebody. Heck yeah. That's but, uh, awesome, man. I'm, I'm glad one of us found a gun. Um, and you know, we both found a bunch of trash collectively. So, but I think the next step is to what? Call the police? Oh yeah, we gotta turn over to the cops. We got a serial number on the bottom. Oh yeah. And I'm sure they're gonna want it. They're probably tired of hearing from, what, where are we? I think we're in Cartersville, so. 
This might be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> so he's going to give the police a call, and uh, it should be pretty interesting. We're going to see what their reaction is. Let's give them a call. How's it going? Hey, y'all. Ladies, found something cool <laughs> in the river. Yeah? <laughs> y'all magnet fishing? No, scuba diving. Scuba diving, yeah. Is it deep enough for this? Not, not really. Not, not really here. Be like crawling on rocks, I feel yeah, like. I think the deepest part was like six feet. It's half, not, the, not half, a very fun half spot. The time, yeah. <laughs> they probably won't come back here, but. Yeah. Just down the road in white, they have a quarry, a diving quarry. I don't know if y'all been there. I haven't. Yeah, that's uh, the yeah. Kraken Springs. Isn't that's that what it's called? Called, yeah. yeah. I've never been there yet, but. It's Guns beautiful. on my, my floorboard of the passenger okay. side. I didn't want to go grabbing it. Back, that far? <laughs> yeah, right here, the blue truck. Ooh, there's a gun up there. <laughs> Water. Yeah, we film like YouTube videos, yeah. diving and stuff like that. I've seen some of them like on TikTok. Oh yeah, People. you might have seen this guy. No, no, no. <laughs> TikTok's the devil. It is. I'm it is. A, I'm not a fan of TikTok. I had like half a million followers, yeah. and then it just. It just died. Yeah. And I was like, what is that well, about? They get, what, people get what's called like blacklisted? No, shadow banned. I yeah. That's what it's called. People just stop finding your videos. Just, I don't know. Because I'm like, see scuba diving videos. Yeah. And I'm like, why, why are they so mad at me? Yeah. I think they're so cool. I've seen some of the ones on YouTube. Um, I mean, I don't know why I watch it. Like, people have sunglasses and stuff. Like, this is so cool. It's clear, by the way. Which one of we'll y'all found it? I did. Okay, we'll just see. Okay. Take it and hopefully find its owner. <clears throat> Looks pretty new, like I hadn't been down there. Yeah, that that's what I was saying here on our way here. Is I was wondering if it was going to be covered in. Yeah, passes. usually they don't even, can't even clear them. Yeah. But that one actually, I was like, I've probably oh, only been there a couple weeks. Not too long, yeah. Just call out on the radio. Just ask them to run a 1032. Yeah, are you able to tell if it's stolen? They'll be able to tell us here in just a second. Okay, yeah. that's cool. Yeah. A lot of times we can't find out when we find them. So. Well, Gwinnett County doesn't like to play. <laughs> like we'll call the like we'll call we had call like two days ago actually yeah. we found two guns in the yeah. hooch and they wouldn't play long. Yeah. No. They're like they're like, no, if you're curious you can call the, the case number. I'm like, ah, oh, come on, just call it in yeah, for well, us. We'll find out on the radio. <laughs> it it will it could be stolen but just never have been reported. Yeah. Or a lot of people when their guns get stolen they don't know the serial number. Uh -huh. So they can't put it in our nationwide system. It's W. Can't think of Frank William. Frank William King. You walk over. Two four one three. Right now, guys, they're running the number. What's the coolest thing y'all have found? Oh gosh, I found. I'm sorry, you said ten eighty six. Ten eighty six. Ten four three. Ten four three. Which jurisdiction? Which jurisdiction? Stolen. Good Ten four, thank you. Thank you. Sweet. Look at that. Confirmed yeah, stolen, stolen. Confirmed stolen gun. <laughs> Can't always get that all the time. No. That's good. Because a lot of times people get their guns stolen. They don't know the serial number or whatever. Which is, if you own a gun, you should always keep your serial numbers written down somewhere. But so we sometimes have guns that we don't know are stolen, and they just sit in our evidence locker for a hundred years. <laughs> Yeah, I used to find, when I first started this, I'd find a ton of guns. We in, had someone in a find a grenade out here. Uh, there does, that was, yeah. as Michael, his name's, uh, his channel's yeah. Nugget Noggin. Yeah. yeah. And I, I remember when he found that. What? I was down at 293 diving, and he was all the way up here, and I remember. I think um, they called, like, the bomb squad out or something. I can't remember. Yeah. I remember that video. Yeah, the video's online. I watched it, and I was like, oh, it would have been a dummy yeah. grenade. Yeah, but, it, it was. It's just, yeah. And then NERT one, I think is what they call it. One of our guys on this shift, he's an EOD tech from the military mm. before he came here, so he was able to look at some of the ones we found in the past and say that. Yo, what's the coolest thing you find? You found before? I found three Civil War muskets at Hardin Bridge. That is so cool. And then a bayonet, same spot. Yeah, so that's awesome. Those are the coolest yeah. ones I found. Really. Did you take them home? Um, yes. I donated them actually to a, a museum in Virginia. Really cool. Yeah. Well, what do you do with all this crap you find? Like some of it's throw, not worth Throw saving. away the trash, you yeah. know. I got a pile of stuff at the house, so, <laughs> yeah. so I'm kind of a hoarder. Yeah. So I got old hubcaps sitting around. And, old yeah. hubcaps. Yeah, just, cause like there's a, I don't know, it's like old, you know the old center caps on like Ford pickups? Yeah, those are cool. I found those sometimes. My wife's yeah. just like, <laughs> just throw it away. She might be, she might be listening. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> not home. With, well, we'll get this 
return to the owner since it was reported stolen here in our county. We'll be able to get it back to him sometime soon. So cool. Sure, they'll be thrilled. But it's not <laughs> too disgusting. It's not loaded. It's, it's in it. Okay. I just All right. Anybody well, thank you guys very much. We appreciate it. I appreciate y'all. Yeah. All right, guys. So hmm. they uh, just took the gun, and it was reported stolen. So that was really cool. Yeah, I wonder if it would still fire. I think that'd be that'd be crazy. Um, <laughs> there they go. You think there's an SD card? I don't know. Sometimes people are. Sometimes people don't want to. Oh no, that's a no, SIM card. Yeah, no no SD card. Ooh, it smells so lovely. That battery smells. Oh gosh, it smells very <laughs> chemically. Like this is gonna blow up. Let's yeah, see what happens. You ready? No, don't do. <laughs> what? Is that bad? It's gonna explode. No. Don't right. you remember those batteries on the planes blowing up or the phones blowing up spontaneously? Nope. Wait, what did you find, man? You got another. You got a bag over here. I don't find anything but trash, which is cool. I have a full bag of cans and plastic, and I found three amazing golf balls. This one says, slap your monkey. All right, guys, so the cops just came and took that gun away. It was really cool. They actually were able to run the numbers and confirm that it was a stolen gun, which is really cool because we don't always get that confirmation. But they were super cool officers. Shout out to what county, Jeremy? Bartow. Bartow. He's over there in his underwear, so I'm not going to show that. Come on, you <laughs> But thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Go check out Exploring with Nug's channel. Give him a subscribe and like if you don't already follow him. And we will see y'all on the next adventure. Oh, yeah.